So my very good friend Jesse over at Bow Ties and Books, um, they came up with this amazing, fantastic, brilliant readathon. Now for those that just went Jesse readathon, wait a minute, weren't they the ones that created? Yes, they created the Blackathon, which was this month long readathon that was so fucking amazing and was just a celebration of so many black authors and black creators and I had a ball and a blast and now they've created yet another readathon and this time around it's the Mythathon which if y'all can't tell has me so fucking excited because your girl loves mythology like really loves mythology to be talking to you belladonna should have taken a break not an oxford comma take what i want what i wanna Hello everybody, oh Nara right, back again. Um, so like I said, Jesse created the Mythathon, which is a month-long readathon throughout this entire month of August, whereby we read books that are based off of different um gods and goddesses. Um, and they were able to bring together amazing four amazing um, booktubers to be co-hosts, and each of them represent different gods and goddesses and different energies. And let me tell you, choosing one out of this entire list was insane because each of these people are amazing friends and people i admire and really really like and really really enjoy their content and i was just like oh my god what to go with what to go with but then i eventually did make my choice so we have tom of tj reads books who is the head of team apollo we have um lauren of the novel lush who is team oh yeah um the yoga goddess yeah her um we have cindy of read with cindy who is team 80s and then we have britney of britney the bibliophile who is team aphrodite like i said it was pretty hard choosing one but i eventually decided to go with aphrodite because one i love her she is one of my favorite goddesses um and two britney is the dear friend and three the group book she chose was is one i've been wanting to read for a while and luckily enough i have it on audio and i cannot wait to read it so um this is i'm going with team aphrodite but you all know that august is also the month when i'm participating in the newt and i already chose the aura for that the tbr for that is I will list it, it's over here, but you know I'm, how many books I'm reading for the newt and now I'm adding the mythathon. My plan though is when if when I do finish Team Aphrodite, um, if there's more time, I can still find other books that you know work for the other teams as well. Um, just for fun and to have a blast. So um, so I'm definitely going to leave um, Jesse's announcement video down in the description bar below, so check them out. I'm also going to leave the um, Mythathon Twitter handle down in the description bar below. Um, I'm certain it's not too late to join. It's just pretty fun and um, a great way to, you know, choose a god or goddess you have an affinity to and, you know, get some reading done and just cheer for your team, you know. Um, so I'll just go straight to the books I'm going to be reading for the Readathon. Now, the very first prompt says, Aphrodite is very well known for having multiple types of lovers. Um, read a book with an LGBTQ plus main character and for that i am going with god's grave by j crystal like i said i'm participating in multiple readathons this month as well so if i can cross pollinate i will totally and completely cross pollinate plus mia cover is the love of my life she's my bae and um, she's my queen and she's definitely very 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 queer as we discover in amazing glorious detail in this gem of a book what is god's grave about i'm not going to spoil it for those that have not read nevernight but god's grave in god's grave we pick up from where we stopped at nevernight and mia is still highly fixated on getting a vengeance and avenging uh, and avenging her family and she does so through grit and strength and power and blood lots of blood and of course we still have mr kindly and um while she's doing this she's just gloriously queer and this book make me and this book makes me very very happy so um god's great for that prompt so the next prompt says aphrodite owned a girdle that contained her enchantments read a book with a powerful main character who is also very feminine and for this i'm going with yet another book that i also picked for the newt and that is the wicked plus the divine which is a comic that i read a couple of issues of but never really fully never really finished and i think that this is a great one for me to finish it in this comic the gods are basically reincarnated in right in humanity and they at a when they get to a certain age they do gain their full powers to a large extent the only caveat is that um after nine years they are going to die and this book is like i said it's chock full of lots of main characters like lots of powerful main characters like there are 
a shit ton of gods and reincarnated gods and goddesses in this comic and also um a lot of them are very quite feminine you know um it just it works for me and it's awesome and i've been wanting to finish it for a while and now i get the chance to do so which makes me very very happy so the next prompt says worldwide artists continue to create stunning sculptures in the name of aphrodite read an award-winning work and for that i am going with harry potter and the half blood prince because um firstly i am doing my harry potter reread and i just felt that it made total sense for me to walk in um this the sixth book in the series into this readathon but also just check wikipedia and look at the amount of amazing amazing awards that this book as one and it just it suited the prompt perfectly well and also worked well for my weary next we have aphrodite is the goddess of procreation read an adult book with a child main character or read a middle grade book now i checked my shelves i really did not have an adult book with a child main character which is very very sad i need to rectify that immediately but i do have a middle grade book and i decided to go with what sonny saw in the flames by Nedi okora for now this um this is the nigerian prince but i do know that um the american prince you all know this book popularly as akata witch Yes, this is Akata Witch, but um, reprinted for um, for Nigeria. So in this book, we follow 13-year-old Sunny, who is an albino. Um, she was born in New York. She's growing up in Aba in um, Nigeria, and um, basically this. Um, she because of her albino skin she can't walk in the sun it's very hard for her to see in sunlight and has to wait till evening time to like play football um, but she does have a strong gift she can see into the future and together with her friends um, Olu, Chichi and Sasha she um, they undergo this adventure in order to prevent this ancient being slash force this ancient spirit slash being that is basically kidnapping and maiming children all over the city i've wanted to read this for quite a while um and also read the second book in the series and now i get the chance to do so and i'm very happy about it and then finally we are to read the good book which is to kill a kingdom by alexander christo whereby we follow the siren the siren princess um lyra who um takes quite great delight in carving out humans hearts every birthday um that is what she does she kills humans and she takes a, she kills human princes and collects their hearts but when she accidentally kills one of her um what she kills when she accidentally kills a siren our mother punishes her by turning her into the one thing she hates the most that is human and tells her that for her to be restored to a siren nature she has to bring um, the heart of Prince Elian, but you see Prince Elian he is a siren hunter who hates sirens and is very intent on not just hunting them But also finding what it is that can destroy them for good. It sounds like he's going to be very bloody very Interesting. I really love that. I love the law of sirens I find it very fascinating that the sirens in this are not just singing to drown men, but also actively killing them so i'm definitely interested i've been wanting to read this for a while and this is a great chance for me to read it so yay me um so yeah those are my choice slash picks for the mythathon for team aphrodite slash team earth um let me know if you are participating in the mythathon let me know what team you're a part of drop it down in the comments bar below um if you like this video please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up check out my other videos subscribe if you want to i make new videos every sundays wednesdays and fridays and i'll see you soon until then stay passionate love books love yourself Oh, hi, my strange addiction, my doctors can't explain my symptoms or my